Shalom, Shalom Akim. All praise, glory, and honor due to Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakakodash. That's the Hebrew language, that's the pure language. Alright, that's the language that we speak as a people, which are the real Israelites. Double honest to all apostles of James Kirmis Stone, a salutation to the Akim pushing this word of sincerity and in our truth. Alright, and as I said, we are the real Israelites. You so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, West Indians, Asians. You know, we are the real Israelites. We are the people of the Most High. We are no Africans. We are no Jamaicans. We are the true Israelites, according to the prophecies, according to the Bible. Now, the topic of this video will be based on what you see on the screen. So I will title it, um, the Mosa is not with your reggae and our dance hall, nor any music of the society. And I will try and phrase it that way. Which the Mosa is not. And you know, I was listening to, and the Mosa, the Mosa is not against good music, man. And bear in mind that your dance hall and your reggae, your rap, your hip hop, your, your, um, your heavy metal, whatever, your know, music, you know, you so called pe you people glorify in this society, the most side that's not, um, that's not good music, man. That's not music, um, because first of all, music into the society have been compromised, you know. And you know, in this video, I won't go so much, you know, in depth to speak on any anything, um. You know that I know or that I have research. You know, probably when me and other brothers do video, we can go more in. But music today is no music, man. And we're mainly gonna touch in on the dance hall, um, and you know, dance hall and reggae because you know we all here, man. So today, the most is not with your music anyway. And this interview. You know, the brother, um, you know, this individual, um, Kurt Riley, you know, he was talking some interesting stuff, man. You know? And the next important thing that I want to put out there for whosoever he has to hear, you're not covered. <laughs> you know? Um, you're not covered. If it's not under the spirit of Yahweh, Wa Yahweh Shai, Yahweh and his son Yahweh Shai, those are the true names. For you have for this for the heavenly father and his son you're under the wrong vibration and you're gonna get destroyed man because famine is coming you got your famine is coming man a lot of people go hey the majority of people are going to die of hunger and by and by this by the sword by people killing people for food so i have to get that out there man so Concerning the entertainers, concerning the, the musicians, um, this these last days gonna show and prove to you that the most I wasn't dealing with your music to begin with, from the beginning. Now, a lot of you are gonna run on and run in and said, Oh, you know, more people are bad mind, or we know more the people, um, reggae music and dance are feed. I don't give a damn about that. All right, the scripture say, Oh. Uh, those who do the will of the Most High, you see, those are the ones, you know, what I mean, that the Heavenly Father um gonna glorify. Those that do the will of the Father, man. Now, this is a seek um, Ecclesiastes. The point is in twelve. Um, remember, let me just go to the point, man. Um, in the verse three. In the day when the keepers of the oath shall tremble, and remember these are parabolic talks, because this is a prophecy that applies to what is to come. That is making reference, um, I well, it telling you what is to come, because what does the word economic mean? Our economy mean mean house management, and the keepers of the house, your financial expert. You know, um, your 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 Wall Street um, watchers, man, your financial watchers, your politicians. They are the keepers of the house, and it said the days are coming when they're gonna tremble, 
and the strong men shall bow themselves meaning they're gonna bow down in a lowly state and the grinders cease because they are few all work cease because the word grinders just mean work that's why a lot of people use the term they are going on the grind or they grinding so the grinders cease because they are few and that's what you actually witness in the beginning stage of work being few but this is still not the beginning this is still just the beginning of things this is still this is just this is just the warm up stage all right and those that look out the windows be darkened and concerning you entertainers your celebrities your musician it is the most high that's stopping you people from continuing from going uh, having stage shows even though you still have a platform to to um to 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 put you to per, to um to push out your madness especially this youtube um platform to push out your madness you know glorify killing each other man you know what i mean glorifying um wickedness glorifying witchcraft that's what you society glorify and promote but the heavenly father is bringing you people down to a low stake the most is not with your music man and this is the point and the doors shall be shut in the streets when the sound of the grinding is low and he shall rise up at the voice of the bird and the daughters of music shall be brought low and when you look up this word this term brought low it means to bring to distress and a lot of you people are knowing frustration right now because you're not getting any work any 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 stage show any any traveling to go and keep any party man see to go and entertain people to make the money see the heavenly father is doing that all right because all you people promote because even in your reggae music whether they not praise whether they praise in Selassie um glorify taking the next man woman zin all of the madness zin covering the scriptures say you want to them that um cover with a spirit that is not of my spirit zin so the vibration where your people cover under and the vibration where your people claim that you cover under is not the vibration of the most high see so let's get my next precept so the daughters of music it's talking about you musician talking about you celebrities man whether you want to believe it or not this is talking about you celebrities you entertainers man is is bringing you people is bringing you people low see because the most is not with dance and our reggae music our people is in a worst case scenario that have any that have done any that the, the, the music not do nothing meant for our people man in terms of um leading them the right way in a righteous path because even now more than ever you are so far gone from from your true self from who you be from your nationality from who your true power and true god is see so this is what the heavenly father is going to do ezekiel 5 and 16 when i shall send upon them the evil arrows of famine the mosa is doing this and he, because why he's doing it because a lot of you people say yo what kind of god yeah do this the god we are call out to you people for 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 decades man and you refuse to turn you refuse to listen and he said it kurt kurt Riley said it man he said sometimes he's a god that's called out to do it to one no more while I don't know the answer, man. But you know the way how the Mosai call out to even you, Kurt. The Mosai was calling out to you people, not specifically these um, individuals on the panel, but to, we were calling out. We were out there on the highways and the edges, calling out, prophesying the downfall of this society. Because now you are you are witnessing the the end, the beginning of the end of of your piece of world, man of your society you're witnessing the beginning of the end of it so we've been out there telling you the things that are to come and they are coming without the shadow of a doubt 
you're gonna witness chaos you're gonna witness carnage seeing so it's a when ash and famine is one of the main ingredients that are gonna get you people to come and to humble when i shall send upon them the evil arrows of famine which shall be for their destruction and which i will send to destroy you and i will increase the famine upon you and break your staff of bread and when you're going to this um i think this break your staff of bread yeah um i think i was reading something on it um it said to break the staff of bread to cause a want of bread that is our example famine see as bread in hebrew called the stay of the heart so food in general gonna be lacking so you have the you have you have certain artists which none of them are righteous anyway but you have certain artists leading the way with some of the most adulterous song man promoting taking a next man woman did you know that is against the laws of the law of the heavenly father did you know that that law is punishable by death so when the judgment of the most High come upon you don't be surprised man don't be surprised don't ask why it happened to some of you are you people when the most i start dish out the judgment yeah continue so the most i go break your staff of bread your earnings let me go back to that precept so you say what and i will break your staff of bread you see the most i go break the source the most i go break your source where you get money from to buy food to sustain the most is gonna break that and what you're witnessing is the beginning of it all right so i'm gonna get this Let, um i can end it right there man because um this is an example in in um in second king in first samuel's the 16 chapter and 14 verse and down you know give you an example of when david was playing the harp you know and he, he a evil spirit was on salt and david played the harp you know the, that instrument to 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 get rid of the, the evil spirit from off a saw man and let me just get to the point and it came to pass when the evil spirit from god was upon saul that david took an harp a natural earth instrument man a, a natural frequency instrument and played with his hand so saul was refreshed and was well and the evil spirit depart from him but what do what what reggae and dance and music and rap music and trap dance and trap music do to our people play demons upon them man you put demons upon them to the point where you have niggas listening certain music before them go up on crime before them go kill them fellow men before them go kill them fellow um, brethren. Zin? Li they listen music to get that pumped. They go kill off each other, man. Mosai is not with your people music, man. Come on, yo. See? The Mosai is going to dish out the judgment and he might show you. He might go prove it. That you soak and then you give your, your entertainers, your, your, your massacres, your governors, your, um, your decks, that all of these clones Zane the most I gonna show you man because you're wicked y'all y'all are wicked and when the judgment come man we're gonna be happy man not only for your entertainers man but this this, this is pinpoint this is the finger point on you in this video y'all in this video man because the judgment is coming up on all the wicked <laughs> see so your music Put demons from people man you don't take them off see you don't make them refresh you don't make them clean you know there's a year in my background man is a Mo mozart instrumental play playing in my in my background certain music don't play around my my uh in my house man see so we'll look up this word refresh because it's a david played up and saul was refreshed 
all right and the Hebrew word there is what rawak and it's a what to be um is a breath relieved to be relieved to breathe easy to be relieved see and revived so what you have look on look on your society to them man some of the most emotional set of people and and chigger happy set of clowns with guns and even the ones without guns man Yahweh but Hashem Yahweh Shai gonna dish out the judgment upon your people and you can surely look for that <laughs> Zin, Covid ain't nothing Shalom, Akim. Hope this test was edifying. Shalom.